RCW, Rubber City Wrestling. Allow me to beg your indulgence for one moment. This is the fallen angel, Christopher Daniel. The blue. Mick Foley. And you are watching RCW Wrestling from the Rubber City. Rubber City Wrestling. Real pro wrestling. Not the flippy stuff. Have a nice day. Yeah. Catch RCW Spotlight Sundays at RCW Global, Thursdays only on the RCW Network on YouTube. Welcome to another edition of RCW Spotlight. I am your host, your role model, Rick Lieb. And with me today, we have, of course, behind the bar, Ricky Williams, my co-host from RCW Global. And back with us, Big Blackhawk, who is Hello. no longer suspended. suspended yes. And we're going to go ahead and talk about that in a little bit as we break down what happened at the uh, Bunkhouse Stampede for the Eddie Memorial Invitational. But, I got uh, to see what happened. Um, did you get to see it? Yeah, I got to see what happened. Well, it was on this past Thursday, so you, uh, that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. But, um, we're, yeah, we're going to go ahead and we're going to talk about that. Uh, and he didn't get to go to the, to the event, but, you know, he does the show with me on Thursday, so. But anyway, so we're going to go ahead and take our first commercial break so that we can get this out of the way. That way we can come back and I've got to get to the bottom of this. See you in two minutes and two seconds. Do you need something hauled away? Are you looking to scrap that old washer and dryer? Whether you're moving, doing some spring cleaning, or just need something taken away, Fuller's Cleanout is the way to go. Contact them by phone at 234-716-9651 or on Twitter at FCO the way to go. If the stuff has to go, Call FCO. Artistic Butterfly is a locally owned shop made up of all handmade crafts and gifts. We have over 30 vendors that hand make their own unique items. Our products are constantly changing. We also provide fun crafts for adult eyes only in our newly opened third room as well as homemade candies and baked goods. And let's not forget a few drawings by your role model Rick Lee. Artistic Butterfly LLC is community based. We do fundraisers for kids with cancer, and we also collect non-perishable items for anyone in need. Come see us today at 498 Canton Road, Akron, Ohio, 44312, or call us at 234-334-4656. Artistic Butterfly LLC, allowing local artists to spread their wings. Welcome back to RCW Spotlight. Last week, RCW featured a grave affair featuring the, uh, or presented a grave affair featuring the Yeti Memorial yes. Invitational Bunkhouse Stampede. The whole show was fun, though. It, yes, but that was the most brutal match. Yeah. Uh, let, me, let me tell you something. If you've never seen one, I don't know if you remember the old Bunkhouse Stampedes that, that Dusty Rhodes used to go put on and basically win. These are more brutal than those. These make that look like a regular match basically yeah. I mean because it, imagine the bunkhouse stampede only these are in a steel cage now, I know mm -hmm. the Dusty did one in a steel cage but it wasn't like this yeah. the carnage is just way worse I, I was actually honestly surprised that no one brought a uh, cowboy boot um, that should be an automatic that has to be in there even if it's already I, I in the boot I thought someone brought right. a cowboy boot I don't think so I didn't see any 
Okay, well, that would have been a good idea. I mean, would have been, Dusty's won every one of them with that cowboy boot. So who knows? Maybe that's the secret. Yeah. Cowboy boots yeah, hurt. Secret sauce, mean, yeah. yeah. You know? Um, but yeah, uh, as you said, it was a great show. You know, we what he wasn't supposed to be there. I hey, I was the suspension was lifted, so I was allowed to be there. I know. Glad you're. You back. know, uh, I know it was great. Uh, put my foot in my mouth. I said that if Shannon would want to bring you back, I I would have no problem with it. I was um, serious about that. And, and so anybody who saw Global that. last week. Uh, so I had I made a phone call. I actually did think you should have been back. I felt two was worth or, yeah. or was a little too much. As much as I like to joke and act like I wanted to, I would keep you no. I felt suspending you for one event, okay, that's that, that I mean, you know, the crime fit the punishment. Yeah. Two <clears throat> I mean it ain't like she helped you win. Yeah. And so that's why I felt one was enough. Yeah, I thought, she was I thought it was a little excessive, too. So I'm actually okay. shocked you agree with that. That's why I I, well, listen, I'm not as bad of a person as you try and make me out to be. I don't make you as, like, a bad person. Come on, man. I mean... Sometimes you just drive me nuts. I, 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 there's other stuff on that show that we can definitely talk about, but there's a lot of things that happen in this Bunkhouse yeah. Stampede. So what we're going to do today is we're going to actually break down the Bunkhouse Stampede. Um, first of all, a lot of people are asking me is, uh, is I mean, there's a lot of people turn on each other there. Yeah. But, uh, one of the things was everybody was asking me is Kevin Phoenix, um, and, uh, Brandon Miller turning on each other. I don't know. I mean, it's, it's a bunkhouse stampede, every man for themselves. That, they haven't told me they have any beef with each other. I don't know what's going on between Kevin Phoenix and Brandon Miller. Brandon Miller is almost as crazy as Zook, so you never know what he's going to do. I, I'm not sure if I would go as far as he's as crazy as Zook. Almost. But I will say that Brandon does eat his victims. <laughs> yeah. But and to my knowledge, all his victims are animals. So that's all that matters. And it doesn't even have to be his victims. Sometimes it's your car's victims, it's his car's victims. You never know. It doesn't matter. Yes, I mean, hey, if he... He said, don't don't throw him away. If it's mostly dead, he'll take it. Yes. It doesn't even have to be fully dead yet. Yes, yeah, so if you've ever watched Princess Bride, you'll understand what mostly dead is. That's right. Right. Now have fun storming the castles. Anyway, so that Anybody happened. Anybody want a peanut? <laughs> <laughs> the chocolate helps it go down. Yeah. Okay, just in case you're wondering. Yeah, I, yeah we could quote that all day. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. As you wish. <laughs> you know. But, uh, <clears throat> the, um... I lost my train of thought. Oh, yeah. So I, I don't know if they're actually, you know, like, on, you know, at odds with each other. I believe... Were they a team already? Huh? Were they a team? I mean, yeah, because Brandon trained them. That okay. was his student. Ah, I didn't, I didn't realize that. Yeah, he brought him in from the 4-4-0 okay. is what he told me. You know, they both from Sandusky, so he said that... uh You know, I mean, he brought him in, kind of been... Kind of like... Well, he, they did kind of get into the... um Stampede wearing similar. Yeah, they both had the black. Well, yeah, they came up as the four one or four one. Yeah, four four zero four zero four four zero. Yeah, you said four four zero earlier. Yeah, yeah, four four zero. That's what it is. And uh, so that I mean that's their their thing. So they uh they are a tag team. I know that, and I know that they're a pretty pretty good tag team, successful wherever they've gone. So okay, it is what it is. Um, so I, I'm not sure about that one. I may have to make some phone calls and find out about this. Um, one of the other things, another thing that I turned to people are talking about, Max. Max not only turning on uh, yeah. Schizo. Now, this match has not been aired on Global yet, but I'm going to go ahead and say Max. Give a little turned, spoiler. Yeah, spoiler alert. Max turned on Schizo. Which is really weird. And then entered wow. himself into the bunkhouse stampede. He wasn't even on the list of who's on. supposed to be there. He was, yeah, he was Neither were you, but well, you were at least given permission. He yeah. just showed up. Hey, my name was on the call sheet, if you look. Oh, yeah, because he wrote it in. It was still That's there. <laughs> so you got in. Max, I don't know how he got in. I don't know. He didn't need graphics or anything, so I, he may have just walked by, hit the button for his music, and walked out. That's I don't what know. I'm wondering. Well, like you said, Max made a turn. He um, not only turned his back, obviously, on um, Schizo, but no. he turned, turned oh. his back on the way. I think, I, honestly, I believe Max just needs some, I, I, we'll have to talk to him, straighten him out a little bit on what he's, cause it, where his mind is. The way's looking a little thin these days. Right. Well, Even you. with Schizo there, this, it's looking you. a little thin. I mean, I've lost some weight. I have. I've seen, yeah, I saw the skill you used, yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Anyway, you guys <laughs> in that 
BS scope down there. The, um, but yeah, so there's that. And then, of course, Marcus Knight at the end. Yes. Aaron Black looked like he had this match won. In my opinion, I thought Aaron Black was going to come out the new television champion. I thought so. I mean, he was looking strong. Danny, Aaron Black, and JL Watson, all three basically made it from the beginning of the match all the way through all what? Almost oh my 40 gosh, minutes. They were all the, they all were three there. of them made it almost 40 minutes in this match. Who was the first one out? Danny? Danny was first out, then Watson. And I believe Aaron Black was number three. Oh my gosh. And the three of them made it to the final three. That just tells you how bad they wanted that belt. Well, as we're building this the whole time, I kept telling you, Watson and Danny, these are th- this is their match. This is right. their type of match. They like the hardcore matches. They like the blood. They like the um, just the violence. I gotta I like say this, too. Danny England, he pinned you after slamming yeah. your head not into the fence part of the cage, but the metal the post, pole yeah. right into the. I'm like. I, I, this is not my type of match. No, no, no. I'm not a fan of this type of match. No, Danny loves that kind of stuff. I mean, I stapled a dollar bill to his head, and he didn't even He used to do that every night. Yeah, I mean, I, well, I thought it would be funny because I've seen it happen to him before. Yeah. And I'm like, I, I always was like, I wonder if people are using rig staples. No. So I made sure I put the staples in that staple gun that was hidden. And I've had them, you know, the ones with the long prongs. Mm-hmm. And I went up and I went, boom! And as you saw, that thing stayed. It was embedded into his skull. Yep. Oh, that was and so gross. Shut up. They had to actually, we had, <laughs> they had to actually almost cut the staple to get it out. Yeah. Because it actually closed inside, underneath yeah. the skin. Yeah, it was great. I put it in there deep. And that dollar bill, he still has the dollar bill. Mm-hmm. I told him, I said, you need to, you need to, because I, 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 after all that stuff, we could still have a cordial conversation in the back. We don't. That's the one thing. That's one thing. It's always been a great thing with Danny is he leaves it in the ring. Yeah. He may have a lot of beef, and uh, you may not like each other going into that ring. But once you guys are done, he comes. You come back out. He's done. He's you already. Understand. He's let it go. Because it was no disqualification. George Davis came in there, and me and him both just put a word, put a did a number to Danny, and Danny literally next event we're in comes up and he's like hey man so i heard it you know it's like this dude will talk to anybody mm-hmm. you know so i mean hey yeah respect for that which you know. is going to make him a great global television champion i mean i won't go that far i thought that aaron black would have been a great television champion and it would have been nice to see terrence knight get another one added to the family the belt that shouldn't have been taken from his family well oh, i'm so happy it was taken anyway, yeah you're well no no you're hate, fine you but... hate him for a re- no reason no i can't stand him well that is one of the reasons you mentioned Marcus got involved in the end of this match. Yeah. Well, that's one of the reasons. Marcus, of course, Marcus, the only person who has more problems with Terrence than me <coughs> will be Marcus Knight. I don't get it. That's just fan, well, I don't blame him. Exactly. But there's uh, Terrence and I have issues. It's wrestling issues. Mm-hmm. But family is a totally different thing. Mm-hmm. If you if you got problems with family, you got a totally different type of problem. So that's it. The, the, so he went in there and made sure he wanted to make sure that Terrence did not get that global television title back. That would, that's been his goal since uh, George had to drop it. He wanted that title back. So this wasn't even a Aaron Black thing. This no, was this a- was a. Ter- I, I'm fully confident that this was a um, screwing Terrence in the system. They talk about how the system always wins. But this night, they didn't. I felt they should have. But as you just said, Danny Anglin, we have got the most ADD cameraman today. (laughs) It happens. It's all good. Hopefully we're still on. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and, uh, first of all, Danny Anglin is the champion. Yes. Congratulations to Danny Anglin. We're going to go ahead and take a commercial break and uh, maybe handcuff this producer or this camera guy to a, a thing. <laughs> we're gonna we will see you in just a bit with uh your questions are you looking for a job i mean seriously do you want a job then get a hold of asap staffing asap staffing is located in barberton ohio 165 Second Street Northwest. Phone number is 330-615-2477. TNT Health. 
unmasking your potential. So, you want to look like the headline, Vinny DiMaggio? Here's your chance. Let's not be ridiculous. Nobody can look like Vinny. But if you need that energy before your workout, or you want to lose some weight, burn some fat, we got that. You want to build some lean muscle? You can get it at TNT. Or even if you just need the essentials, BCAAs, juiced up, here at TNT Health, we carry it all. Come visit us at TNTHealth.com. Would you like to see your commercial aired on both RCW Spotlight and RCW Global? Contact us on social media at Facebook.com slash Rubber City Wrestling, Instagram at Rubber City Wrestling, or email us at the RCW Network at gmail.com. Welcome back to RCW Spotlight. Well, fans, it's that time of the show again. You've got questions? we got answers. Well, if you'd like for us to answer your question on the air, feel free to write us at x.com forward slash Wrestle Rubber. Wrestling Rubber. Wrestling Rubber. Drop rubber, the ball sorry. on that Hold one on. again. Yes, I did. Drop the ball on that one. I always Williams. drop it. I All always right. drop it. Oh, well. Let's see what we what got, got here. We got some juicy questions today. Okay. Juicy excited. questions. Yes. What does that mean? <coughs> I don't know. But anyway, first question. Good to see Blackhawk back. What are your goals now that the suspension is lifted? This is by Lynn Davis at Kent, Ohio. Well, my goals are the same thing that any wrestler in any wrestling company should have. I want gold. I want a championship. I had the Global Television Championship for a while. That, under questionable terms, got removed from the situation. But I want whether it's I'm in one of the um, rare positions where I'm in two divisions. I'm right between yeah, the heavyweight division. Right That's right yeah. under. I'm just under. I'm in the heavyweight division because it goes up to 300. Mm -hmm. But the super heavyweight starts at 275, I believe. No, 250 now. 250 now? Yeah. So I'm oh, both. Wow. So one way or the other, I want gold. That's where Blackhawk's going. Well, Great I mean, no offense. George Davis and Schizo, those are two guys I just, I mean. You're I've a tough beaten guy, George but... Davis. And I've wrestled Schizo to, pretty, he got me, but it was not by much. I mean, it also it depends on what, like I said before, with Schizo, it depends on what who you get in the ring. Do you get Josh Cortez or Schizo? Oh, you go solo, you're getting Schizo. So, be a good one. Too. Hopefully, I'll know ahead of time, and I I can prepare for Schizo. It's I hard, not easy, but I could do it. I can see Blackhawk getting gold though. Eventually. You never know. I may find a partner and go for the tag gold. There you Let go. me have all the right. gold. That's a good idea. Go after those top guns. Nobody likes them anyway. Oh gosh, here we go. What? All right. Anyway, next question before you start blabbering bullcrap. <laughs> um, last event was awesome. What was your favorite all-time cage match? Harry Johnson in Madonna, Ohio. I have Ohio. a funny feeling that's not a real name. I don't think so either. Okay, Harry Johnson. <laughs> um, maybe you should shave it. Uh, hey, it's cage. a family show. Are yeah, they talking about on. cage match that... Just in general, cage matches. Like, like that we were in or... Our, our it just says favorite cage match of all time. Favorite, all time all right. favorite cage match. Oh, uh, I'm going to give you two then. One that I was in and one that I wasn't in. My all time favorite cage match that I wasn't in would have to be, um, oh gosh, even though he didn't win it, Tully Blanchard versus Magnum GA, the I Quit match. Yeah. That was such a brutal cage match. And I'll tell you what. That, the Mad Dog Buzz Sawyer versus Tommy Rich was a very close one because that's what made me want to become a wrestler. But nothing. I mean, in my opinion, like there, there was no more brutality than the Buzz so or than the uh, Magnum GA versus uh, Kelly Blanchard match, it, it, the I Quit match in the cage. And then the uh, match that I was in, I would have to say the uh, five on five Team Kenders versus. Uh, team Die Hard or whatever it was when uh, I, I I started that match, and then sixty something minutes later, I was still I was the last man standing in that match, won that match, and I made sure I didn't cheat one time because everybody oh, really got, wow. everybody says I couldn't win it without cheating, and so I didn't cheat one time. Of course, once the match was over, we locked the cage and we broke Die Hard's leg. But that's just another oh, thing. Yeah. I mean, that was just that yeah. was just to make sure that it was worth uh, every yeah, penny yeah, yeah. for yeah, everybody I there. I, it was we had such a riot in that place 
that a fan, a little girl basically, literally, was trying to attack Animal. Now, I remember... Animal would have trust you, little girl, but uh, anyway, what was your favorite? Actually, mine's going to be a lot more modern, though. Okay. Because AEW has basically brought back um, War Games and renamed it and returned it into their own uh, Blood and Guts. That's ironically the name of the show that I was in with the Super Bowl. Well, the latest Blood and Guts that from this past year was amazing. Because um, the, my f favorite memory of it was Cesaro, or, um, oh, Claudio Castagnoli, on top of the cage, giving the um, the giant swing to Chris Jericho on top of the cage. They're standing on top of the cage, spinning. Now, you can't do heights anyway. No. And Jericho, if you listen to his podcast or anything, he talks about how he laid his head back and all you could see was people. Because he couldn't see the cage. And they're 20 feet up in the air, and he's just flying around, and he said he almost lost it when he was up there. Yeah. I would have. First of all, I can't be spun around either. Yeah. Duke. Not to mention the um, the Young Bucks with the, brought back the um, the Tack um, Jordan. Matt, Bu Matt of the Young Bucks has actually a Jordan sneaker that they just glued like a thousand tacks to the sole of the shoe to get a super kick. Oh, wow. It was insane. Hmm. You don't like this, their style of wrestling. No, I know. And I understand that. And they have all the talent in the world. They're exactly. Just, it's just different style. They're just wrestling has evolved where there's... That's one thing I've always enjoyed about um, AEW is the fact that it is it does feel like an indie show with more money. But if you don't like the match you're watching, the next match will be a totally different style and you may like that. The next match will be a totally different style. It's not, um, WWE, one of the things I've always said that was a that negative a little bit for me to the current product is it's one homogenous show. Everything's the same style match. It's the WWE style. AEW still, you have hardcore in there. You have the, the West Coast Spot Fest match, which I know you don't like that at all. But there is technical classic wrestling in here also, Listen, depending on who it is you're working. I'm sorry, but with Danny, with, with J.L. Watson, with these guys, these basically what I consider to be a yard tart is that hardcore yeah. style of wrestling. Yeah, I've been no, trying to get it. rid of that for a while. You've done it. And the worst part is I know Danny knows how to wrestle right yeah. there, but J.L. Watson, that's all he is, a barroom brawler. Oh, stop you know, I've wrestled, wrestled him. He Jail actually Watson. can wrestle also. Nah, Thank you. I've yes. been in the ring with him. He seemed like he just didn't know what he was doing. I mean, he was too busy. I with tagged him. with him when I first got into RCW. Was, yeah, I know. It was horrible, man. What were you, the guy that held his beer? I don't even get it. Uh, and but mine, um, so I haven't watched wrestling in a minute. Sorry, my mom, I'm going to cut you off, my bad. But I haven't watched wrestling in a minute, but I will say my favorite moment is when uh, Kurt Angle was on top of the cage in TNA, and he did a backflip into, like, like six Then that would be your favorite yeah. match, him against Samoa Joe. Well, that, was it Samoa Joe? I, I just don't remember. It's been a minute I watched wrestling. I'm not going to lie. That Actually, classic TNA with the six-sided ring. The, when they did like the lockdown pay-per-view, oh every lockdown match was, was in the six sides of steel cage. Oh, was, yeah. Some of those were insane. Well, that's I basically where, where, where uh, RCW got the idea to do every mm -hmm. match for the... Um, well, even theory. you go back to the beginning of TNA, when it was NWA TNA. Yeah. And um, wasn't it the first Ultimate... Or the first... Um, Ultimate X, yeah. No, the X Division Championship match, or whatever the first cage match was with Eva Skipper. Yeah. <laughs> Tight rope the top of the cage and hit a hurricane run off the top. That was oh. the Ultimate X? X was it Ultimate X? 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 Yeah. They called it the Ultimate X because. Yeah, they, I know. They, they had, had the steel cables. Cables came across as an X. I didn't remember if that was part of that match or not. This was just it. That was crazy, by yeah. the way. Elix Skipper was amazing. Mm -hmm. I mean. There's a couple guys on there that were fantastic, but they had short careers because of what they were doing here. Yeah, right. exactly. The one I do miss is uh, Monty Brown. That dude was amazing. He was, he was I, I, Elix Skipper was the one that I liked. Yeah. I mean, like, if you're going to talk about Flyer, and I'm not even in a high Flyer, but Elix Skipper did some stuff Katie that was amazing. Destroyed. And he didn't wait yeah. for the guy to go, I'm going to get you. <laughs> yeah, you know, true. So. I, well, that I, style has right. evolved since then. <laughs> right. But the, no, no, no. He says evolve, I say devolve. <laughs> uh, I say it's I digressed because we went from real wrestling to this. Well, let yeah. me catch you. Let me move in the spot for you. you I, the... That's kind of why I stopped. Yeah, exactly. That's why I stopped watching it yeah, because I, I can see got... fakeness. Go ahead. Next question. All right. Or last question. Yeah, 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 last, last question. question. Oh, that's my favorite one, role model. You ready? Hey, role model. Why do you guys let this guy through? Uh, 
hell no. Hey, I don't scream the questions. Yeah, me either, man. Uh, well, sometimes I do. I heard Jeffrey LaRoque put you on your ass in the cage last week by Bend Over State Pen. <laughs> love Bend Over. That's another name that makes sense. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Real, real last right name question. or real address, huh? I would give a fake address, too, if I keep writing in and saying stuff about well, me. I, I saw this happen, too. So what, what's your take on it, role model? Okay, here's my take on this. Number one, Jeffrey LaRoque is a cheat. He he planted brass knuckles in the ring and then pulled them out so that he can reverse the decision on me, and that's what he did. And well, in my opinion, he's trash. And he doesn't belong in a wrestling ring. And that was definitely not cool. And as far as me getting knocked on my ass, I tripped. He did not <laughs> knock me on my ass. I tripped. Well, we will oh, see goodness. in the coming weeks And I global. just wrestled. And I just wrestled a whole entire match yeah. winning the World Light Heavyweight Championship, mind you. Well, we'll see Only this happened. coming up in the coming weeks oh, of global. Oh, we definitely it. will. So we definitely will. It. Because if you notice... There's no gold around his waist right now. Nope. I was robbed. Oh, my god! I was robbed. Screw my shoulder was being up. I was robbed. Oh, but it was okay. My hand was raised in victory. But, but. I was handed the belt, and then he took it from me. You can't make someone feel that kind of high and then give them a low. You know, That's not cool. That you, it, you can't do that to someone. I was robbed. Crowley knows I beat him. No, I think I'm actually glad it happens. Karma for what you're freaking goons did to him the last show. When they picked him up because he fell down? No. you, you all Your entire crew attacked him. I, that was ridiculous. Let's just say this. So I get that Crowley has to move on and Spike's going to whoop him. The real world champion, Spike J oh, uh, J go. Roman's going to beat him. Yeah. And, you know, you know Spike's the biggest star in RCW, right? Oh, yeah. Well, I don't yeah. know about the biggest star in RCW. Yeah, but say, He's just, up so, there, though. I, I mean, that's a now, little stretch in there. But, yeah. He... Is going to take the belt from him. But I'll tell you this right now. Alexander Crowley, Rick Leap isn't done with you. Just remember that. With that being said, I want to thank you guys for being here again. Uh, You're welcome. For Blackhawk, Ricky Williams, I am your role model, Rick Leap, saying join us again next week for hopefully a more pleasant questions um, on another episode of RCW Spotlight. Salute. Bye, bye, bye.